Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and for this video tutorial we'll be seeing a simple way to create some nice looking text using only uh, simple text, one modifier and the cycles render engine and let's begin, I'll hit the X key to delete the default cube and I'll hit Shift A and add text and I'll hit the tab key to change the text of the text and let's call this one Blender and hit the tab key again and as I said before I'm using the default Blender font and I'm doing this because uh, by using the default font everybody can follow along without having to find or download any extra fonts for Blender and I've moved over to the Blender uh, uh, text object data and what I'll do for my text here is move down and first of all I'll click center for the alignment for the text alignment and what I'll also do is move up and change the extrude value on the geometry tab and I'll set it to 0 0.2 okay and we're having our nice looking text and what I'll do now is move over to the modifiers panel and we'll add a modifier, click add modifier and I'll add a remesh modifier now for the remesh modifier first thing I'll do is uncheck remove disconnected pieces and I'll also change the mode, I'll set it from sharp to blocks now I'll uh, increase the oak tree depth value, I'll set it up from 4, let's set it to 5 and uh, that's pretty nice and what I'll also do is add a material to my object here and move over to the materials panel, click this icon and I'll click new and before I do that let's change it to render from blender render to cycles render ok and I'll click new to add a new material and I'll change the, surf the surface type from diffuse BSDF to glass now we might change the uh, default glass settings later on but for now I think we're good I'll change the name of this material to glass ok and what I'll do now for my text I think I like the way it looks I'll hit shift D for duplicate you can see the duplicate here but I'll hit the right mouse button to cancel any movement for my duplicate and what I'll do for this text is move over to the modifiers and I'll change the octree depth value from 5 to 6 and as you can see by using a higher octree depth value we're having more detail for our text and therefore we're having two text objects and one of them uses uh, more detail and the other one uses less and that is because of the remiss modifier is in place now I move over to the materials panel, click this icon and I want a unique material for my second text object so I'm clicking this little 2 icon and I'll change the name from glass let's change it to text new and I'll change the surface type from glass BSDF. Let's make it diffuse. And I'll change the color. Let's make it a nice, nice green color at about here. Okay. And I want to be able to see my color in the viewport. So I'm expanding the settings, clicking the viewport color, and then selecting the color picker. And I'll pick the color from the surface tab just to be able to see my uh, text here exactly how it will look in the in the 3D view and this is pretty nice what I'll also do is hit shift D for another text object and I'll click this 2 icon for the because uh, I want a third material for my third text and I'll change the name of this one, let's change it to text two. well this is actually test, uh, text 3 but never mind and I'll change the diffuse color, click the color 
let's make it a nice yellow color okay now I'll also change the viewport color click and select and for this third text here you can see we have the first object is called text we have the second object it's called text.001 and we have the third text is this text.002 now for this one I'll move over to the modifiers and I'll change the octree depth to 7 so we're having the uh, glass uh, text we're having the green text and we have the uh, final text that it said the octree depth is set to 7 now I'm selecting the text that uses the green diffuse material and I'll move over to the material to the text object data and we have the offset value here under the modification and I'll change the offset a bit for the green text I'll set it to a low value uh, to a low negative value it is set at minus 0.005 and I'll select the yellow text, the one that uses the yellow diffuse material and I'll bring the offset down, let's bring it down to say 0 0.015 okay now what I'll do is try to locate a nice nice angle for my text I think I'm good at about there, I'll hit Control Alt 0 to position my camera and then I right click this frame to select the camera and let's fine tune the camera position I'll set the location, let's set 1.5 for the x-axis let's move our camera up I'm setting the z value to 3 and the uh, y value I'll set it to minus 2 and I'll set the x rotation, let's set it to 40 and let's set the z rotation, let's set it to 35 and perhaps set the y here to 1.5 to minus 1.5 and I'll bring the x down let's set it at about here or perhaps here and what I'll also do move over to the camera options and change the focal length I'll change it from 35 to 33 and what I'll also do is hit shift A to add mesoplane I'll hit 1 on my numeric keypad and 5 to change uh, to front of the view and I'll hit G and Z to grab my plane and move it on the Z axis now I'll hit 0 on my numeric keypad to switch to camera perspective and I'll hit the S key to scale my plane up at about here and I want to add a material to my plane as well move over to the material panel and click new and I'll call this one floor and let's leave it, we want it to be a diffuse ok we have the material for our floor, for our floor as well, I'll change the uh, viewport color let's make it the same color as the surface color and I'll hit G and Y, grab and move my plane on the Y axis ok and what I'll also do is move over to the world options click this icon for the world options and I want to use nodes we have the surface set to background, I'll change the color, I'll make it brighter ok and what I'll also do is hit 7 on my numeric keypad for the top author view select the lamp and I'll hit the T key to grab it, let's move it at about here and I'll hit 0 on my numeric keypad and move over to the render options and for the cyclist render here I'll increase the sampling samples and I'll set it from 10 let's set it up to 200 and let's hit render to render an image and you can see how it looks, I'll hit the escape key to move back to my 3D view, select the uh, yellow text move over to the text object data, I'll set the offset uh, to 0 and I'll bring the extrude value from 0 0.2 to 0 0.1 and what I'll do for the yellow text is also move over to the object modifier and 
I'll bring the oak tree depth. I'll set it to be down to four. Okay. So I'm hitting zero on my make keypad for the camera perspective view. And let's render another another image to take a look. And you can see that this looks pretty nice. And of course, feel free to increase the the samples for the render. And as you might imagine, and as it happens to pretty much every video tutorial I build, you can hit, let's say, hit the escape key and select the text. We have the yellow text here selected. Let's change it. Let's change it to fire and then select the white text, change it to fire, hit the tab key and select the green text, hit the tab key, delete, write down fire and hit the tab key and let's move our camera a bit and hit Z and X. Let's move it on the X axis and Z and Z. Let's move it down and Z and Y. Let's move our camera in the Y axis as well. And we can change the materials. We have a new text here and we'll make this one orange. And of course, we can also change the viewport color. And let's take a look. Let's see how it looks. I'll just increase the samples render, the render samples for the cycles and then click render and as you can see we're getting different text we're getting different look I'll increase the I'll make the color for the world here brighter for the background and let's render a final image to see And I think this looks pretty nice. We have a nice variation here created by the by the remes modifier. And as you can see, we're getting some nice looking, some interesting text. And of course, the glass as always in the cyclist render it looks pretty flawless. So this is it. I'll be rendering some images for you people to see. Of course, you can position your camera pretty into a pretty better position that, than this one. So this is it. This is our little video tutorial. Pretty easy, pretty fast. I really hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.